been educated in the rhythms of the mountain, rhythms in which change was never fundamental, only cyclical. The same sun that appeared each morning swept over the valley and dropped behind the peak. The snows that fell in winter always melted in the spring. Our lives were a cycle, the cycle of the day, the cycle of the seasons. Circles of perpetual change that, when complete, meant nothing had changed at all. I believed my family was a part of this immortal pattern, that we were, in some sense, eternal. But eternity belonged only to the mountain. Educated by Tara Westover This is a true story. Tara Westover was the youngest of seven children, born in an isolated Idaho town, population 250. Her life was even more isolated. She had never been to school. She had never been to the doctor, never to the dentist. She was not allowed to have friends. Her parents were fundamentalist members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Her father believed the end of the world was coming, and they desperately needed to hoard food, herbs, fuel, supplies, and weapons. He buried guns in the field behind their house, where no one was allowed to visit. He believed the government was going to destroy his family, and so he hid them. There was no official sign of Tara's existence, no birth certificate, no medical records, no driver's license. Luckily, one of her older brothers taught her how to read, and she began to read everything she could find scattered throughout their ramshackle house. She is torn away from her time reading by her family's demands, making herbal tinctures with her mother, or helping her father in his dangerous junkyard, separating scrap metal. One day, while she and her brothers are in the junkyard, her brother falls from a very high stack, hitting his head. Without being able to visit hospitals or doctors, the family prays and waits for recovery or death. What happens is worse than either option. Her older brother's head injury changes him. Suddenly, he is scary, violent, quick movements, grabbing Tara by the hair, calling her vile names, threatening her life. She begins to make a plan for escape studying for the ACT in secret, looking for colleges that will accept a student who has never spent a day in school. Whomever you become, whatever you make yourself into, that is who you always were. Will Tara be able to find freedom? What kind of future awaits a girl with no past? Find out in Educated by Tara Westover.